Hi folks, welcome to Blue and Gold Talk. Oh, I don't got my glasses, I'm good to go. Let me make sure I got my audio on because if my audio is not on, I'm gonna lose my mind, it's on. Close my computer up because I don't need this no more. And we'll talk Buffalo guys and I figure I'm, I'm owe you this video so that's why I'm doing this one really. This is a, a video where I figure, you know what, I'll put three. I was got, planning to do two all day today and I said, oh geez, if I'm really up to it because it's hot in here kind of even though that you heard that thunder before. It's, um, hey look, the, the condition the team is in is great, isn't it? Going into next year, right now. It's, we've, we've not been in this good a shape in how long, folks? How long? So my question is, why not improve it a bit more? Why not just, you know? I, I, I feel like we're a playoff team right now, but I, I don't care if I feel that way. What if things happen? What if injuries happen? And, things like that. Things can happen. Things can change. So I, I want to make sure that we secure ourselves and don't have the 06 experience with this upcoming regular season, meaning how we collapsed in the playoffs because of injuries. No other reason. Well, what if injuries take us out this regular season coming? You know, so especially if we're not a hard hitting team, I am a big believer. If you don't hit hard and you're not out there playing any kind of physical game whatsoever, you're going to, you're going to get injuries. The injury bug's going to find you because you're just not defending yourself like you should. But guys, when it comes to hitting, I wanna be very clear on this. I wanna be middle of the pack, okay? I don't care about anywhere else, really. I just wanna be in the middle. I have no, this, this, I don't have any desire to see the Sabres as top hitting team in the league as much as I'd love it. No, I just wanna be in the middle of the pack where we are capable of hitting you if you try to play that game with us, that's all. So going into this, this video, I'm thinking, you know, what's the main goal for me is I, I just can't wait, guys. I, can't, I hate to say it because I don't want to lose the summer, but I can't wait for October. I, I, I'm like a kid with this. I'm really, I feel like it's going to be good for everything, good for all of us. It really, I don't think I'm imagining it. I don't think I'm making it up. I really do believe that. It's going to get so much better this year for all of us. And, uh, you know, do we have a Cinderella story coming up this year? Who knows? That's the great thing about sports, eh? You don't know year to year. You just, you lace up the skates, you shake hands with your new teammates, you shake hands with the ones leaving, you're, you, you step on the scale, you lift the barbell, and you see where you're at, and that's it. You get on the ice and, and uh, it changes year to year. Everything changes year to year. What's going to be in that team's memory in their first game of the season is how they were one win away from making the playoffs. That's what they're going to be thinking when they play game one. I guarantee you that's going to be the talk in the dressing room. They're going to take every single game this year, I think, a lot more... A lot, they're not going to wait till their pride is shook up and they've had the hell kicked out of them for like an eight-game losing streak before they wake up again. I, I don't think that'll happen. I don't. I think it was pride that woke them up, not desperation to make the playoffs. You know what I mean? I think this year, every game is going to be like a game seven to them. So we're going to see a different type of team, but isn't that called maturity? Isn't that what that's called when you think about it? You know, isn't that a team that's just getting older and maturing? Yeah, it is. I mean, look, they've had fun. They've talked about dreams and goals and everything. And then last year, they get a taste of coming so damn close. And they didn't, give in, they didn't throw in a towel like many of our fans that were guilty did, okay? No, they didn't throw in a towel. You'll never see me throw in a towel either. You guys got proof. You seen me. I was one, at one point, one more loss away from saying, okay, that's it. And I wouldn't give up. I wouldn't give up. And it came down to that game in Jersey. It did before our season was done. And uh, that's fine with me. That's fine with me. For those that want to complain, then you forget where we came from. You forget where we came from. Try not to ever forget where we came from, guys, no matter what happens this year. You know, I do believe that this year is going to be, it's going to be a special season. Something special is going to happen. Don't ask me what. I just believe that. I do. I've kind of called it year to year, you know, where I think they're going to finish. I got to see where they're, where, I got to see our roster before I predict where I think. I predicted them fifth the last two years. They finished fifth the last two years. So I've been pretty good with that. And um, I'm treading higher this year. That's for sure. Yep. 
Absolutely. I think they're going to surprise a lot more than people think this year. But we got to address a few needs. And of course, I just went over this in the videos. We got to get another goalie. Okay. I know that you guys, some of you got, got it to, for UPL to cut the team and cut the squad. You're more patient than me because I think we should trade them. I think we should move them. And I think we should get assets for him while he's worth something before other teams might figure out that he is just backup material. Because I don't think he'll ever amount to more than a backup in this league, to be honest. Maybe he will. He's young. Maybe he will. By the time he's 30, 33, he might really hit a peak where I'll be looking back and say, boy, was I wrong about that guy? Very possible, guys, very possible. But how it looks right now, our needs right now, and a young Devin Levi is we need a veteran goalie. We gotta get a vet. We gotta get a vet. I, I'm a big believer this year that we better address this need. And if Adams is gonna go with this goaltending duo, uh, duo or even trio, I don't think he will. But if he does, I'll be surprised. You know, um, I don't think it'd be fair to put it this way: if if we're not if we're gonna keep Comrie up, because Levi is a shoe in He's staying up, guys. He, it's a shoe in Levi staying, okay? Now, if Comrie stays up with him, what, then what happens to UPL, really? I mean, I, I, even that I would feel bad about because the kid deserves his chance somewhere. Trade him out. Trade him out. Give him a chance somewhere because that, we might go that route too. Don't think we won't. We might. The Sabres might go that route. Maybe Adams thinks that um, UPL is not too mentally strong. He might think he's a gifted athlete, but that he's not too mentally strong. Because that's the thing I feel about UPL. I don't feel he's, he's very strong mentally. It doesn't feel it anyway. You know? Whereas Levi, I'm 100% convinced that this kid is ice in his veins. You know? There's a difference. You could just see it in their demeanor on the ice. Come on. So, I, I, we got to resolve that. We got to resolve a bit of power up front. You know, but the goaltending for me, I could live with our forwards for now if we resolve the goaltending issue. Because if the whole back is good, then the front end of the team, you can tweak it along the season, make a trade if you have to, whatever it takes. You know, I, I just hope that they see this because I you know I'm not crazy going with uh, some of the vets still, but you know, and I. I, I don't have any complaints about the guys that we've acquired yet. I'm not one I'm going to judge the Greenway thing. Not yet. No, no, no. He might become a good power forward this year. I got to see a year. At least give me a year. You know? I'm not like, I don't got a crystal ball. I'm not going to pretend to know this. You know? And uh, we'll have to see what happens to Jack Quinn, eh, guys? I've been meaning to do a video on that. I still haven't done it, but uh, it's, it's a bad news video. So I'm, I'm going to go over it. I might go over the Achilles tendon eventually and we'll talk about it in depth a bit and uh, I've had some serious injuries in Taekwondo when, it, when I when I blew up my leg that year uh, I, was, I had all sorts of injuries and that being partially one of them so it, there is a lot that goes on with injuries behind the scenes that we'll never understand as just regular people who aren't playing the game and sitting there complaining they're not winning <laughs> you know so I'm uh, I'm hype guys I need the summer to move along because I don't know about you, I can't, I, the last time I felt like this, re, this main reason I wanted to do this video was talk about this was the, uh, uh, I wanted to, I, I just wanted them to go that route. I, I want to go that route. I, I want to see the Sabres so badly that I'm willing to lose my summer now and just get to October, you know? And that last time I felt that way was 2006. As soon as we lost to Carolina, man, I, I tell you, 2007 couldn't come quick enough. Really, it could have come quick enough. I was so damn excited for the next year. And um, by the end of that season, I kind of knew they weren't going to win the cup. But it was still a fun team. It was still a great year, you know. And uh, uh, it just wasn't anything close for me that like 2006 was. You could feel the hunger of that team. Whereas 2007, you could just feel the, the impending doom of losing Briere and Drury. We know we're going to lose those guys. And uh, you know, at least we don't got that hanging over our head this time around. These are guys that want to stick around here and not run away to free agency. Uh, we don't have an owner like we did then. Golisano wasn't a horrible owner. I mean, look, you know, he did what he could to keep the team in Buffalo and all this and that. But 
at the same time that, that losing when you let guys like that walk, you know, you've done, you've done a dreadful error that's going to come back to bite the team. And it did. It has. You know, well, we look at the last decade, so I can't explain enough how badly we need to get into a playoffs and get on a run to put those ghosts to rest, finally, of that squad. Because that squad will always hang over our heads till this team, this current team, goes deep and has a good run and does something, you know, like special. Getting for, for me, if the, uh, if the boys got to the conference finals next year, wouldn't that be awesome? Talk about a step in the right direction overnight. I mean, it's like boom, boom, boom. The Sabres are just like, you know, just jumping up the mountain. Forget walking. <laughs> you know, they're jumping. So, all right. I'm going to be done with this before I got a feeling the power might go out. So I don't want to lose my power while we're filming. And I shall see you guys. I'll try to see you guys tomorrow night. Have a good one, guys. Thank you.